Okay, I'm going to have you guys try a new shape today. So we're going to go to File. Oops. Start a new part. First. File. Save as. And with this one, yeah, I'm going to save it in period one. Say uh, Pentagon. Save. And I'm going to start a new 2D sketch on the XY plane. And then if I go to rectangle and choose polygon, then I can change this to 5. I don't click done. I'm going to start from 0, 0 and move out. And it snaps to the Y axis. And that way I know that it's not crooked. So I'm going to snap it, and then you can see um, that this polygon has all the all the sides are equal length, and it looks like all of the angles are as well. <clears throat> I'm going to hit finish sketch, and I'm going to inspect it first. So measure, and I'm going to measure one of the angles. <clears throat> so that angle here if I zoom in <clears throat> so I just clicked on that is 108 degrees uh, so the rest of these should probably also be 108 degrees so I'm just checking to make sure that that is correct yes okay <clears throat> and then the measurement of the line itself like 1.046. Uh, for this one we're going to uh, go back to 3D model. Actually, we did finish sketch so then I'm going to extrude it and we'll just extrude it to one inch and make it mm, green. <clears throat> So I'm going to click save on that. So we created it using the polygon tool, which is really, um, it's difficult to measure the, the length of the sides because when it expands out, it doesn't allow you to change the dimension of the line. You could always go back into the sketch when the sketch is done. You could dimension it out. So 0. So I was wrong with the uh, the original inspection. I was measuring something else. This is about 0 0.646, which means the rest of them are, since all the angles are the same. So if, let's say you didn't, if you wanted this all to be like 1.0, then when you change that one, it's going to change everything. So that's one way to do it. So you're going to hit finish sketch again, it should change it back to, or change it to 1.0. So when you have this, it's a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 108 uh, degrees between uh, each line. So you're going to hit save. And then I want you to try this another way. So we're going to create a new part, so file, new, part. Notice how our other one's still down here. We're going to save this one as Pentagon 2. And we're going to start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. This time, let's use line. So we're going to use line. And I'm going to just start by. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. You're going to see my XY coordinate change. So now it's a little bigger. Uh, I'm going to create just a vertical line. Not a vertical line. That is a horizontal line. That's 2.0. So 2.0, it says 0 degrees. So I know it's uh, this is perpendicular to the y-axis parallel to the x-axis. I hit enter. 
And then this time, what you can see is, see how it's measuring from that line right there? Well, remember our pentagon had a, um, the degree between each angle, or the degree of each angle was 108 degrees. So let's try to replicate the same thing. So we're just trying to do the same thing with using a different method. So 108 degrees and 2.0 on the measurement. And then let's keep trying to do that. So 2.0, tab, 108. And then make sure it's measuring from that angle. Sometimes, well, if you notice, like I go over and touch that line and then it starts measuring from that line. So 2.0, tab, 108. And then we know that if all of these are the same and then we've been doing two for each line, we can just connect that. And then we know that it's going to be the same. And you can see all of these dimension lines here. Um, if this is correct, just go ahead and delete those just to get them out of the way. So if you notice, um, this one is faced in the other direction from the one that we created, which is fine. We're going to click Finish Sketch and Home so we can see it. Extrude. And then we'll do one inch as well. We'll click OK. And then we'll make it like a purpley color. I'm going to click the green check mark and that is what I want you to complete today. Make sure you hit save.